Alright, so in this video we're going to be modeling a section of RG58 coax using ANSYS HFSS. HFSS stands for High Frequency Structure Simulator, which is designed to simulate high frequency structures. To, so to open it, we're going to go to the Start menu, ANSYS Electromagnetics Suite, and then ANSYS Electronics Desktop 2018.1. So now we have our project, we're going to insert an HFSS design, and our modeler is now here. So let's first draw the inner conductor, which we can do by drawing a cylinder. Now if you're in the standard drawing mode, we don't want that, I'm going to hit Control Z here, you can hit F4 and bring you into the dialog where you can enter variables. So our radius for the inner conductor, we're going to call it inner diameter over 2, and then that value is going to be 0 0.81 millimeter. Now height, we're going to assign it a variable called length, and then a value to that of 10 millimeters. So we now go up to the attributes column, and then we can assign it a name, which I'm going to call inner conductor. and then the material we're going to assign to be PEC or perfect electrical conductor. Just hit OK there. I'm going to make this color just whatever. So now similar to ANSYS Maxwell you can hit Control D to fit all the screen. So now this is our inner conductor here. We want to draw the dielectric that surrounds it so let's draw another cylinder. This time we're going to have a dielectric diameter over 2 and that value is going to be 2.9 millimeter then the height we're going to assign the same length variable so now we can go up to attributes again this one will be dielectric the material we're going to set to be polyethylene which has a relative permittivity of 2.25 and then we're going to assign it a color let's make it gray okay so now we have our coax but if you notice in the middle here it's overlapping you can see the color of the inner conductor and the color of the outer dielectric that's because you've drawn two cylinders one of which encompasses the other so that will not properly simulate so what we're going to do is select both your dielectric and inner conductor, you can do this by holding control, and then we're going to subtract. Now if we just do this normally, it's going to subtract and then leave us with nothing on the inside, which isn't what we want. So I'm going to hit control Z, I'm going to select these again, subtract, and then we're going to clone the tool object before operation. Now this will subtract the inner conductor and simultaneously copy in a new inner conductor so it remains. So now that we have the components of our coax, we can assign an excitation, which in this case will be a wave port. So to do that, we can go into face selection mode by hitting F, and then we want to select this face here of the dielectric. So once we've done that, right click, assign excitation, wave port. Now the only thing you have to do here is select the number of modes to be three. This is because we just want to view the first three modes. Hit finish. Go over to the other side, select this face, sign excitation, wave port, and then three modes. Now you might have noticed we didn't assign an outer conductor at all. This is because HFSS by default assumes that everything you can't see here is PEC. So since this outer face here is backed with the PEC that you can't see, we don't need to draw it. So now that we have our wave ports, the only thing left to do is add an analysis. So we right click on analysis, add solution setup, and then we want to solve at a frequency of 40 gigahertz, maximum number of passes of 20, and then a maximum delta S of 0 0.005. So hit OK. Now we can look at our setup here, and then to look at the results over a frequency, we can add frequency sweep, because by default the setup only solves at one particular frequency. So let's plot from 0 0.2 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz. Let's do 200 points. 
So now we can run it by right clicking on the setup and then analyze. If you haven't saved before, save now wherever you want to. In this case I'm going to save it to my desktop. And now it will solve. And now that that's done we can look at the results. So let's look at the fields at the port. You can go to port 1 and then look at modes 1, 2, and 3. So now let's look at the fields. Let's look at electric field within the dielectric here. So we can right click on dielectric, plot fields, let's do E vector, and we want to plot it in the dielectric and then on the surface only. Hit done. So to get a better view of this, let's double click on the dielectric and set the transparency to 68. So now we can look at the fields within the dielectric. Okay, next let's look at the propagation constant. So we can go to results, uh, modal solution data report, and then rectangular plot. So to look at the propagation constant, let's go to gamma. Let's look at the first two modes of the imaginary part. We can see that the first mode starts from zero and goes linearly up. And the second mode has a cutoff a little bit above 35 gigahertz. Let's also look at the real part of gamma, which indicates attenuation. We can do the same thing, rectangular plot, gamma of the first two modes, and then just look at the real component and hit new report. So you can see the first mode has very little attenuation across the band, and then the second mode has a very large attenuation up until that cutoff frequency. Alright, this was an example of how to model RG58 coax in HFSS.